I haven't really made a whole lot of progress toward rebuilding my milling machine lately. One of the things I need for that is a little straight edge. I got this one from Martin Model and Pattern. I'll leave a link in the description. Looks like a nice quality casting. I think this should be a good little project to knock out. If you're not familiar with straight edges like this, the basic purpose is to have a very flat planar reference surface that can be used on parts of the machine that really aren't accessible to put on a surface plate. So these surfaces really only serve for fixturing on the next step. Before I do that, I want to clean up these faces. And I'm using a ball nose mill just to leave a little radius in there so I have a little less filing to do to clean that up later. That's purely aesthetic. I'm not sure that I need these surfaces cleaned up, but I figure when I'm scraping it, it might be nice to clamp that in a vise or something like that. Figured while I was doing it, might as well get them cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all the parting lines on this, make it look nice. Of course, I just put the vise back on the mill and had it clocked in really well. When I had this in the vise, this was against the fixed jaw. And so these faces should be more or less parallel to that. So interesting here, you can see a difference in the surface finish. It's duller in the middle and brighter along the edges. I think that's because I'm getting into the soft material here and some of the slightly harder material along the edges from cooling. But overall, this thing's machining really nice. I'm really happy with this. Go a little bit more. I'd like the best possible surface finish on this, so I'm gonna give the fly cutter a shot. The face mill was cutting on both sides, but the fly cutter's telling a different story. Looks like my tram's off a little bit. I guess we're going to find out how much that is when we start scraping. You don't really use this angle as a gauge, it's more for clearance, so it doesn't really need to be precise at all. I could tilt the head of the mill over, but I only have 9 inches of travel on the saddle, and this is 12 inches, so that doesn't add up. So, instead we're going to go with a slightly questionable setup here. I'm going to start out with the power scraper, just doing a few breakup passes. Basically, at this point, I'm trying to get rid of all the tool marks. 
I should also say that I'm by no means an expert on the scraping process, I'm very much still learning, but I've watched a lot of videos that go into a lot more detail than I'm going to go into here. So we've got my surface plate nice and clean here, and we're just going to take some blue. Nice clean roller. So I also want to hinge this, so grab one end, we look back and forth, it's kind of hinging on the ends, which means it's high on the ends, which isn't a bad thing at this point. It's actually a decent amount of coverage already. For the first round, that's not too bad. There's some points all along it. Kind of want to hit the heavier blue spots now and just kind of get it nice and even blue everywhere. At this stage, I'm not really going for individual points yet, just sort of the areas that have blue on them. It's hinging in there now. It's getting better. That one's still kind of on that end. It's kind of heavier on this side and on the ends and lighter kind of in here. So I'm going to keep going on this. I did one more round on that and I've got pretty decent coverage all along it, but you can see that the points are very spread out. So now I'm going to switch to the hand scraper and hit individual points. I did a couple of rounds of hand scraping and I'm pretty happy with how it's progressing. But now we kind of get into really sort of reading the tea leaves. If you look at this, some of the spots over in this area have more of like a dark margin around a light center. Whereas sort of over in here, they're a more uniform color. And what that means is these are a little bit higher than these. So now I'm going to go through and kind of hit those high spots and sort of leave the lower points of contact in place. I did a couple more rounds on this thing, and overall I'm pretty happy with how it's going. I'm just laying out a one inch square here so I can do a point count. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Then it's the same procedure for the dovetail. In case you're wondering, I'm just holding this thing on a magnetic V-block. Well, I've been at that for a while. Pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to leave that off there. Pretty simple little project. While I had the blue on the surface plate, I did a little tune-up on this longer straight edge. I got this one used on eBay. Just wanted to make sure it was nice and flat. Needed a little bit of work, but it's pretty good now. So those should be ready to use for rebuilding the mill. The next thing I need to do before I get into that is to make a square. So if you want to see that, stick around.